Studio One for Impact XT. This video is going to be short and sweet, kind of like me. Well, I'm not that short, but I am kind of sweet. Hey, you better stop laughing. This is Joe from Joe I Productions. How you doing, everybody? I hope all of you are doing well today. A totally different video was intended for today, but I had a tiny little snag, and I can't believe that no one made a video about this. So I had to fiddle around and figure it out for myself. Just so you don't have to go through the same thing, I made a video just for you. What's the video about? How to copy from one pad to another in MPEG XT. You would think it's straightforward, wouldn't you? Well, it is. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Okay, our lovely MPEG XT. Let's pull in a sample. One of the things that I really love about MPEG XT, if you hit shift and drag in a loop, not only it will splice the loop for you, it will spread it to the pads. So it makes your life a lot easier. But that's not what we're looking for. Let's say you want to use this and do something with it. There we go. Beautiful. Clear these pads. All you have to do is hit command on a Mac and control on a PC. And click on the pad and drag it to wherever you want it copied. And there you go. Now, why would you want to copy the same sound on different pads? Simple. Maybe you want to tune it, filter it different ways. For example, let's say this one, you want to tune up. This one is just the same. And this one. There we go. If any of you guys had this problem before, type yes in the comments. And if no, type yes anyway so I can feel useful. Just kidding, put anything else except yes. Now, another question. What if you want to copy from one bank to another? Well, that's simple too. Just pull up another instance of impact. Let's change the color of this one so we know what we're doing. Let's say you want to copy to bank D for whatever reason. Again, command, click, bam. It's that simple. And I copy this over. Not only the sample is copied over, all the data, tuning, filters, whatever editing you did to it will be copied over as well. Don't forget, if you like this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in sampling and sound design techniques, click here to the left. I have a playlist of videos that go much deeper into sound design. And if you watch this video till the end, oh, forget it. This is the end. Bye.